I haven't seen you in so long. I know, we haven't done this since last quarter. Why are you staring at me? I'm practicing. Practicing what? I'm practicing waiting for a reaction. Oh my goodness, you haven't changed a bit. But it's true. We're going to wait for a reaction today in the titration lab we're doing. Oh yeah. Titration lab. Doubt that. Okay, it says that we need a burette. Why don't you go get that? We already have the titrant and the analyte all here and the indicator. Okay, burette back. Get it? Oh, Be right back, just burette. Go. Okay, okay. <laughs> I got it. Okay. So it says to attach it to the ring stand and then fill it up with a titrant to the zero. Okay. No, yes. That's the analyte. <laughs> Wait, oh no, you're supposed to close the Ah, the burette's peeing. Wow, that's not how I would have thought about it, but okay. Okay, I'll fill it up again. Okay, and I'll make a new reactant. Thank you for ruining everything. Hate you. Hate you too. Jesus, can you take any longer? I'm going as fast as I can, God. Could you pass me the phenolphthalein? The phenol what? The phenolphthalein. It's the indicator, the purplish pink stuff. It's what tells us when the titration has reached the end point, which is when all the titration is complete, and it changes the color to pink. Okay, here you go. Thanks. Couple drops. That should do it. Okay, can we start now? Uh-huh. Okay, hold on a second. We can start by letting the titrant out quickly, but once it nears the end point, we have to slow down. And don't forget to swirl around the flask. That way, all the analyte will be exposed to the titrant. Yeah, yeah, I know. Ooh, look. When it hits the reactant, it turns purplish pink really quick. And then poof, it disappears again. It's like magic. I know, and this paper really helps us see the color change. Okay, maybe we should slow down now. It's taking longer for it to turn back to clear again. It can take only a single drop to turn the entire thing pink. Wow. I know, it's crazy, huh? Yeah. Focus, Grace. Concentration is key right now. Well, well, obviously. We're trying to find the concentration. Oh, you crack me up. Ooh, that one's close. Oh, oh. It's pink. It's pink. Your favorite color. Oh, gag. <laughs> okay. It says to find the volume of the titrant that we used. Okay. Um, it says about 14.10 milliliters. Okay, I'll write that down. All right, now with that, we can find the concentration of the titrant, oh, and the number of moles that we use. Okay, so we know that we have 5.0 milliliters of reactant in the flask. So using the reaction equation, we can find the number of moles we have and then divide it by the total volume to find the concentration. Wow, I'm impressed. Hey, why don't we just do the calculations at home? But Sharon. What? All the solutions are right here. <laughs> that was a good one, Grace. I know. All right, I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. 